Hi, thanks for clicking on the video and watching. If you clicked on this video, probably you're interested in how you can feel awesome. <laughs> um, I just, I wanted to come on and talk about movement because I'm just really passionate about it and kind of have always been committed to it because it feels so good. I, I wouldn't say I'm someone who has a lot of passions quite honestly. I kind of flit and flutter between various different hobbies, but if there's one thing that I have kind of made a non-negotiable for my lifestyle, it's making sure that I have some form of movement going on in my daily life, for the most part, every day. Of course, I believe in, in rest and recovery and things like that. Um, but I, I've just, and I'm you know, I, I just wanted to share a little bit about movement for anyone because it's really, it's, a, it's an easy way to feel better than you usually do. It's an easy way to raise your vibration. It's, it's very modifiable. There are all kinds of movement you can do if you're someone who is like super athletic or if you're someone who's never done exercise or movement in any way, shape or form. There's always a way for you. And so um, I just, you know, I know for me it's been something that helps me to really get into a good state of being every day. And I think a lot of that is, um, you know, biochemical and the endorphins that happen when you move and sweat and whatever kind of get your heart rate going you know blood is pumping and all of these things happen in your body and you do really produce endorphins which are like these feel-good things um, and a lot of us get kind of addicted to that I mean I know I love to sweat and work out really hard and I love that good feeling afterwards but I also know that just you know in our bodies um, you know, we're, our bodies are made of basically water and energy, you know, uh, flowing through. And so sometimes, a lot of times, we might just feel stagnant. We might wake up or be even later in the day and feel like blah or like nothing's really moving. I don't have my like good juju and like juices flowing through and, you know, how to render that and like jump start and like get my energy going and the way to do that is to move and there is no one recipe for that some days uh for me my you know and i i just i've learned to just listen to my body so i don't have some kind of workout schedule that i follow it's never really worked for me um i personally just kind of literally ask my body each day what do we feel like doing? Is today like a yoga day or is today like a weightlifting day or is today like a dancing around day <laughs> or a walk, you know? Um, my, my range of working out ranges everything from maybe just taking a walk around my neighborhood to doing restorative, slower, gentle yoga to doing more vinyasa flow yoga to get sweaty and move around. Um, to doing like cardio type workouts, no weights or anything, just like cardio or HIIT, really getting my heart rate up, really sweating, kind of just getting the blood pumping, um, to doing weight lifts, you know, to doing like a leg day or an arm day with like dumbbells and things like that. Um, also, I go to dance class sometimes or I just dance around my house. Um, movement can also be, you know, I work in my yard, working outside, lifting plants, shoveling the stuff in your yard, whatever. Um, there's no one recipe for it, but whenever, I mean, I've kind of started, I mean, I've been moving every day for decades now, basically, but, um, there's not a, a right or wrong way as long as you're not hurting yourself and doing something too strenuous. But, um, you know, if you want to feel good, you feel maybe you wake up and you do feel like stagnant or you need to move or maybe you live in the desert like some of us and you can't go outside during the summer months because it's just too damn hot. Um, excuse me, I'm going to sit differently. I'm, as you can tell, trying to um, find different camera positions here in the dollhouse. So, you know, let's, you can start with something just really gentle, 
um, start just by breathing, by doing some basic stretches. Just look up, you know, basic yoga um, or breathing movements on YouTube. That's how I started with yoga, it was just YouTube, and that's how I continue a lot of my learning for different types of movement. And also, you know, to not be afraid to try something new, like just like your body likes to do new things. So you might find a workout that you like and a type of movement that you enjoy. And, you know, your body's gonna get used to that and learn to do it very efficiently. So then that's when you need to kind of switch into something different and kind of always keep your body guessing. Like just this week, I found a different type of yoga I had never done before with different movements and breath patterns that kind of shook up my body in a good way. And I was like, whoa, this is really energizing and challenging in a good way. And so, but what it does is it, it moves the, the energy. So the stagnant energy you might have, sometimes it's something emotional that you haven't processed. Sometimes it can't be explained. And it's just like, maybe you've been sitting in the same type of position for too long, for too many months in a row. And you're, you know, your legs feel tight or whatever and you need to kind of move the energy that's what movement does so it just gets the, all the body juices like moving and the blood and it moves your muscles and your fascia and it gets your joints kind of well oiled and all of that so that you can feel like the energy is moving through your body right and that's why dancing is so fun too because um you know if you just turn on songs that you love and let your body move how it wants to move, it's gonna feel really awesome. And, you know, don't worry what you look like. Just let the energy, sometimes your body will just take over and the energy will just kind of move around and move out and then, you know, you feel better. Um, Cause you've moved, you've moved that stagnant energy, you know? Um, even just walking can do that. Like just yesterday, I was kind of having a midday slump and I was like, I, I don't know how, you know, what, what can I do to feel energized right now? I had already worked out and had a great morning and I had like hit kind of a moment. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go take a 20 minute walk, get some sunshine, get some, you know, nature time here. And I took a 20 minute walk and I, took in the nature and I breathed and I paid attention to my breathing and I felt better because I had like moved through that, whatever that was. So even if you're someone who you tell yourself you're not someone who exercises or you're not someone who works out, you don't have to be someone who exercises or works out. You could just be someone who moves <laughs> and, you know, Find a video you resonate with. Find a, a leader of some sort that you resonate with or don't. Just go take a walk or just, you know, do some stretches that you like and breathe. You know, you don't have to put yourself in some kind of label or box about it. But as humans, you know, we're not made to be sedentary. We are made to move and we actually should you know, back in the day moved a lot more and hunted and gathered all day. Um, so if you're feeling stuck even mentally or eh, kind of physically, um, add some movement into your day in whatever way, you know, and ask your body whatever way your body wants to and, you know, watch it make you feel much better, you know, and even like a lot of the time even after just a few like movements, even if it's just like some jumping jacks or some cat cows on the floor here or some, you know, walking around the block and then coming back after a little bit of movement, if you just like kind of settle back into your body, you can put your hand on your heart, you can kind of put your hand on your, on your legs and just breathe, just feel the energy in your body. You can feel it buzzing. It will be buzzing and moving around and, and you will have known that you did that. And you, you created and moved the energy through your body and so now it's swirling around and now it's moving and it's not stagnant. I always feel that after a walk. I come home and I sit down and I'm like, I'm like kind of reverberating, like there's energy moving through my body. Um, and it's good for you good for your circulation and your your breathing and all of that so 
move. I encourage you to move and have fun. Do whatever you like to do. It doesn't have to be, a, you know, something you, it shouldn't be something you dislike. It should be something that you end up coming back to each time because it makes you feel so good, whatever it might be. So yeah, have fun with it. Having fun is, is a high vibe vibration anyway. So um, enjoy the movement. And thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day. Bye.